Let's talk about Staph aureus, Dr. Julie. And I know that Staph aureus is a big part of our flares. I'll let you share and give a rundown of what it is and how it affects our skin. Yeah, so Staph aureus is another bacteria that is present on the skin. We have studies that map like the skin microbiome. And we find that Staph aureus is present just because it's there. It's not necessarily causing a problem. But there's some very, very interesting studies with eczema. And it's not just one. I mean, there's multiple at this point that show that prior to a flare of eczema, the Staph aureus on the skin will start to rise before the flare. So it rises. Then the skin will start to flare. And we also see that the other kind of more commensal or good natural microbes that belong on the skin, they will start to plummet. So staph takes over, the good guys kind of disappear. Then you get your flare. And it's again, the opposite, not until staph aureus starts to go down and the good guys start to take over. That happens before we start to see the skin flare. So Staph aureus is active before we get the eczema flare. But if you have eczema and you're having a flare, you do have an overabundance of Staph aureus. It, it pretty much goes hand in hand. And so I'm always in my mind treating my patients for Staph aureus when their eczema is active. 